This is the first time I'm playing PlayStation Doom here and I have to admit, I love it. It's very polished and smooth for a console part of that time. I also gotta admit, this game plays very well on a controller. Even for a guy who believes in the PC best race and is hugging the keyboard while playing video games, I feel like shooting my way through Doom on a controller now. Up, R1, square, circle, left, L2, L1, cross. Arrgh. Entering that cheat code is so 90s, but thank god they exist, because our VIP is one of the tenants in the tenements, and playing myself there would just delay the video for another day or two. Also good to see how the partial invisibility is being handled on a PlayStation. There is a translucency effect instead of the PC game's dark fuzzy one. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is our special guy! Well, it took quite some time to see he's slightly invisible. He's in fact less invisible, or less translucent, than regular specters, but more to that later. You can see it especially in contrast to a regular Kakodemon. So, okay. That's it. That is him. Or it, whatever. It's just a regular but partial invisible Kako demon. Nothing special. Yes, it is. Nothing spectacular here, except for a few minor things. While the Spectre is only visible by 25% and the Nightmare ones also look kinda different, this Kako features a 50% visibility. That's an odd number and also the reason why it's generally harder to spot that it is translucent at all. Another fact is that he, she or it is a very special snowflake. It is the only partially invisible Kako demon in this entire port. Now there are also two speculations about it. Is this supposed to be a nightmare Kako demon? Well, nightmare monsters are partially invisible monsters two times as tough. The PlayStation part is focused on horror, which could support invisible monsters better, and nightmare specters and even nightmare imps are already in the game. Contra arguments are, there's only one and it's even locked up in a cage, makes no sense game design wise, and it doesn't feature the nightmare monsters numbers. It is most likely a human error though. All maps have been changed by hand and stored in separate WAD files. A mistake while replacing the arc while which is located in that cage could be the reason. And who would randomly flag random monsters in this map only? On the other hand, why is it 50% visible? Are these numbers entered by hand for every single monster? That'd be incredibly tedious. Or why can these numbers be altered at all when it's a flag handled by the game engine anyways? Whatever the reason is, we will never know. So let's just be glad we have this special Kako Demon. It's so cute, isn't it? <laughs> 